The Florida Museum of Natural History's newest special exhibit takes visitors on a trip through time. No, there's not a time machine. Instead, there's a whole lot of gravel. So instead of travel, it is time to gravel. Jonathan Block is a professor and curator with the Florida Museum of Natural History. It's in Gainesville, by the way. Good morning to you. Thank you for coming in, as well as bringing these special guests right here. Oh, it's my who, pleasure. Uh, are among the oldest guests we've ever had on the show, John. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah, well, these are about five million. These, these uh, fossils right here are about five million years uh, wow. old. Yeah, um, that's older than Bruce and Rich. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Some that's of our only. anchors here, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So this is, this is truly incredible, and, and I like to geek out on this stuff. Uh -huh. I wanted to be a paleontologist when I was a kid. Somehow I ended up here. So just, just kind of humor me for a little bit for yeah. here. So, so let's start with this. I mean, it, I, I see the, what would you call that, a saber tooth? Yeah, this is a saber tooth cat called Smilodon. This is the same animal, it's the state fossil of, of California, for okay. example. Um, but this one was found uh, just south of Tampa uh, in a, in a uh, locality there. And it's an absolutely beautiful specimen. It's about one and a half wow. million years old. You can see these very large sabers associated with the, with the type of predation, you know, eating animals this, that this animal did. Yeah, you What's, don't want to come in contact with that. No, <laughs> with those right. teeth. Yeah, these are long extinct. But one of the big mysteries in the evolution of this group has been, you know, what are the steps that, that led to, you know, the evolution of this incredibly specialized, you know, meat eating, uh, you know, uh, teeth that you can see there. Right. And so that's where this specimen becomes in really useful. And we just wow. found this a few years ago. This was found by one of our volunteers. We've had about 800 mm -hmm. uh, volunteers working with us in a fossil dig just outside of Williston. Um, and this is the oldest skull ever found uh, for wow. the group that includes uh, the saber-toothed cat here, which is very famous from like the Ice Age movies. Sure. Diego, Diego yeah, and yeah, absolutely. And then there's the, the, the team, the sabers as well. Yeah. Uh, I want to point out, you said Williston. So that's not far from us. Right. It's actually, you know, in Levy County, just yeah. just west of Gainesville. Correct. So yeah, it's only about an hour from Gainesville. So we can invite. We have students as well as members of, of the of the public coming and joining us with those with those fossil digs. Yeah. And what's really exciting now is uh, this locality that produces these incredibly uh, special, very important scientific discoveries. Uh, we're bringing people into that space where they can help us make those discoveries, and then we're taking those experiences out in the field and broadcasting them live into our exhibit space wow. where people can talk to the scientists and the volunteers who are digging up those fossils. So you get to see the whole process instead of just seeing them on right. display in the fancy case. Well, and the other thing is that after you collect fossils like this, there's a whole process to uh, you know, getting them cleaned up. And we, we call that preparation. And we've put that entire process on display in the exhibit as well. So we yeah. have the whole preparation lab has been moved into the exhibit so people can see behind the scenes in terms of how we actually do that part of the science. Mm -hmm. um, and we, it, it, the way it's set up, we can answer questions and essentially invite people to be part of that process. Yeah. I love the Florida Museum. I mean, I went there, I think, in middle school. That was my first right. chance to see it. That was a long, long time ago, prehistoric yeah. age. And then I, I went as recently as this summer. I took my godson and my right. nephew there, and it was, it was really incredible. And, you know, I, I love just the approach there. Obviously, it's coupled with the University of Florida. I'm a little biased there because I'm a Gator grad. Right. Let's get over here because I, I think this, this elephant needed a dentist <laughs> yeah. back in the day, right? A like big was, toothbrush. Yeah, it almost looks like it was, uh, it was chewing on rocks. You can see the wear on, the, on those teeth. Um, this is a really neat elephant relative. It's called a gompotheer. Um, but it's different than modern elephants in that uh, modern elephants have two tusks. Uh, Gompanthers have two tusks, two upper tusks, as well as two lower tusks. Um, so it's a ex completely extinct group of, of elephant-like animals that lived here in Florida, you know, five million oh. years ago. And we have one of the neat things about this Montbrook fossil site over in Levy County is that we have many, many specimens of this animal. And uh, from little tiny baby ones, this is a baby. And you can yeah. tell that's a baby because the tooth is erupting, you know, out of the, out of the socket there. Um, but all the way to adults. So it's a unique opportunity to look at, you know, an entire population of this extinct animal um, that, uh, that used to live here in Florida. The other neat thing about um, this animal is that uh, it has, the tusks themselves are quite different wow. from modern elephant tusks. Modern elephants have ivory, you know, which is essentially, this is the dentin mm -hmm. right here. And you can see that's, that's the ivory right there. What's interesting about these animals is they have a strip of enamel just like the enamel that covers our own teeth, very hard enamel. Um, so that's different than modern elephants. And then also that enamel essentially forms a spiral 
around the length of the tusk. So wow. it's very characteristic of it. Incredible. But. And you know, I I always think of these old you know animals, these prehistoric animals, as being like lands, lands away, so far away. But right. you're talking about stuff that's within a couple hours of, of Jacksonville, which is really, really incredible. And, you know, I know that we have a lot of viewers that live in the Gainesville area, so yeah. you can go to the museum, you can see this, it started right now, That's fantastic right. fossils. It's there on the University of Florida campus. Anything else people need to know? Well, we're open, uh, we're open every day of the week, um, and we will be through the summer, so people can come and experience that. Um, uh, probably the best times to come to the exhibit would be in the mornings on the weekdays because that's the lowest traffic sure. and you can really take your time going through there. Yeah. But I invite everyone to come and be part of our part of the science of paleontology. And only seven bucks. Seven bucks for adults, four fifty for kids. Right. It is a deal. Then you've got the butterfly garden. You know, just make a day out of it. It's a great field trip. Thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. We're gonna post this segment on newsforjacks.com so you can go back. Watch it with your kids. A little bit of a history lesson right here and certainly some interesting, interesting things.